What is going on guys? Gray here today and I'll talk about the trailer dice released. Uh, we got to see three new maps that we have not really got to see any gameplay on just yet. And of course these three maps will be included at launch. We'll have seven total maps uh, at the launch of Battlefield 2042. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description. Uh, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Amazon Associates is where I kind of give you guys some ideas of things I use every day when I game. And also I opened a new merch store that is linked down in the description below as well. That is just kind of some official Gravedigger merchandise that you can get for yourself. All right, so what EA and DICE were kind of doing was wanting to show off a little bit of gameplay from each of these maps, Renewal, Breakaway, and Discarded. Now, of course, the snow map caught my attention right off the bat because I love Battlefield snow maps. But they kind of describe this as from Egypt's uh, giant wall to Singapore's maze-like cargo containers. Get your first look at gameplay of the three of the seven total maps coming at launch. Like I said, Renewal, Breakaway, and Discarded. These maps in Battlefield 2042 allow for a new gameplay experience with unprecedented scale and choice in gameplay. With the introduction of 128 players on new gen consoles and PC, each map is specifically designed to provide a unique experience that directly impacts strategy for you and your squad. Uh, Battlefield's multiple, uh, or Battlefield's maps have multiple distinct combat areas housed in a single play space. The extra space means more variety and more meaningful vehicle gameplay. Now that was one issue I had with Orbital when we were playing the beta. Some of the map just felt dead. It felt like there was nothing going on there and other areas were really fun, re really packed with players, packed with infantry. And of course, one reason I think that this was, or felt like that to me, was because we had less vehicles during the beta. And DICE has already addressed that, so there's gonna be more vehicles, more tanks uh, for the new gen version and the PC version of the game. So the 128 player version will have more vehicles, more tanks, that kind of stuff. So that might make those outside areas feel, to, feel a little bit more lively. Uh, when it comes to the kind of smaller areas, I really enjoyed that during the beta. It felt like there was some really great gunfights, really good fights going on between large squads, large teams, large groups at each flag. And hopefully that will be the case with all these maps. Most of these maps kind of look the same. It seems like there is some really cluttered spots where pe people are going to congregate and hang out the majority of the time. And there's some more outside kind of open areas that will probably be more for that vehicle kind of gameplay. But overall, I'm really excited about Battlefield 2042. I know I'm kind of with the rest of you. A lot of you are skeptical, uh, skeptical because of the specialist. I'm not a fan of the specialist either, believe me. Hopefully I can learn to deal with it. But when it comes to a modern style Battlefield game, I'm really excited because Battlefield 3 was one of my personal favorites. I know a lot of you out there love Battlefield 4. And in my opinion, this looks like a direct sequel to those games. It's just been a while since we got to play those style games. We've been playing you know, the World War series and so kind of getting back into that modern Battlefield era is really, uh, really has me excited about playing the game. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. Make sure you hit that sub button. Check out the community Discord and my Twitter linked down in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.